everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Mantis and Doctor Strange in the arena this time. Round one is over and done with. I have both of those champions uh, as both six stars and five stars, so was not going for either of them. Just went for the 11 to 30 percent. Um, it is a really lazy Sunday. I got done with arena last week, like Friday. Um, actually, I think it was a uh, yeah Friday morning. And check this out. Look at my current rank. This is the first time I think that's the gladiator circuit. I, I went over here because I was like Uru, and I'm looking over here, and it's saying gladiator circuit ascend the ranks. Uru is the first in gladiator circuit and it's telling me that i have to play at least one gladiator circuit match to qualify well i'll do that um i already have the uh points that i need all the milestones so i won't be using any more um elders marks just gonna use energy <clears throat> And um, just try to get the uh, objectives. I haven't uh, haven't even done these objectives yet. So if I can just get these objectives done, we're good. All right. So let's get to the arena. All right. And of course, I already did the T4 basic. Long time. And I haven't touched any of the others. There we go. Got my 11 to 30 percent. Let's take a look at the leaderboards. Start with uh, Mantis, who is an interesting champion. She seems to be really good uh, against a certain class. What is it? Um, science, I think. I don't know that much about her. Uh, one of the things that I did like the first time I played uh, with her is that she didn't move forward. I had to get used to that. You know, in, in Marvel Contest of Champions, if you don't do anything, your character is going to go forward. And I had to get used to that. You know, I've, I've been used to that now playing this game for like seven years. I'm done. You know, I'm finished. Uh, don't have to worry about that. But then they introduce this champion and she doesn't move if you don't move her. And I'm like, whoa. Now you can turn that off. I, I remember that. Um, but that is kind of uh, kind of nice. You know, I'm, I'm definitely one of those that like my champions to do only what I tell them to do. Uh, and and. If they do something automatic, I want it to be where I can control whether they do it automatically or not, if you understand what I mean. Like, to be able to turn off and on the automatic response. So, I like that. I like that. And uh, I hope they continue doing that uh, in their champions, you know, making it so that you have control over your champion. You know, if you want them to auto evade, then you should be able to turn that on. And now they auto evade. You should be able to turn it off, you know. Um, but that's just me. Uh, anyway, let's see um, who else we got. Oh, I got some good news. I'll talk more about it um, during uh, the live stream tomorrow. But just about an hour ago um i got word that someone is interested in the second room so maybe we'll have somebody in that other room um that meets our criteria and uh what's nice is that the room that we have available is the nicer of the two uh, so it would be easier 
to rent that room. So we, we rented the more difficult room first, and, and both of them are, are nice. Uh, one of them, the one that we've already rented, is smaller, and it doesn't have an air conditioner built into it. Now, we do have central air, you know, and all of that good stuff. So, you know, it's not like uh, we said, oh, ha ha, you're going to burn, you know. Um, and we can also, I don't remember what it is, but there's something about that room, the the way that the window is or something like that, where they can't install a window air conditioner. But as I think a lot of you guys know, there are other air conditioners that you can get. And, and if he um, needs one, we'll get one, you know, um, getting a, a in room air conditioner is an investment for the future, even because that will be ours and it'll come with the room. So if he decides to leave, we'll have that for the next person. So, uh, we'll definitely get one if necessary, you know, he may get his own. Uh, but anyway, let's go to uh, Dr. Strange. Now, Dr. Strange used to be really good. And I still and I tell this story on my live stream. Um, had a friend, you know, we were in alliance together. And this is when you only had four stars. Okay, there were no five stars, there was no six stars. And he had really bad luck, you know, um, pulling champions. A lot of us had already pulled some decent champions, you know. Um, I had, like, for example, I had a Wolverine, I think. Um, and I forgot who else I had. But I had several champions that were pretty decent. And he had no one, no one, I kid you not, but Doctor Strange. He would get these other champions. He would dupe these horrible champions. And he just, he had like the worst luck that I have ever seen. And he made that Doctor Strange work. Doctor Strange was the reason that in Alliance Quest, because that was mainly our focus at that time, in Alliance Quest, and I think we were doing map three, I think it was, um, you guys might remember, it was where uh, Groot, you know, OG Groot, um, was the mini bosses. And he would take down those Groots. A lot of us did not like Groot. Some people, they hated fighting that Groot so much that they were willing to do map four instead, just to avoid Groot. But with Doctor Strange, he was able to take that Groot down, plus do his path, you know? So he really put a lot of work in with his Doctor Strange. Didn't have anybody else. And he used to tell me about that all the time and how it was getting boring because he couldn't pull a decent champion, but at least he could still, you know, use Doctor Strange. I'm sure you guys know where I'm going with this, right? Uh, Laser John, congratulations, man. And so I remember, you know, um, Scarlet Witch, who he did not have, of course, uh, and couldn't pull. I had Scarlet Witch, but she was not awakened. Uh, they nerfed her into the ground. Okay, bad. You know, she used to be a goddess. They stripped her down to mere mortal status. Okay, it was a hard one. And of course, around that time, you know, they changed the game up a bit. And they also, to, to everybody's surprise, they nerfed Doctor Strange. And all of us were like, what? He was never a god. He was good. But Scarlet Witch? I could see Thor 
OG Thor, I could see. But Doctor Strange? Why? Why? You know? And they've never really answered to my satisfaction what they were doing. Perhaps they knew something was coming or they had something planned that he would have been OP for and trivialized the content or something. I don't know. But that was it. That was it for my friend. Unless he created a new account. Um, you know, I kept him, of course, on my friends list and everything. He never came back, at least to that account. And eventually his name disappeared. He was still on my friends list. Um, and then just disappeared. So I was like, wow. You know, now, of course, since then, you know, you know, folks come and go and everything. But I do remember that. And I was like, why? Why would they do that? Well, now we've got Doctor Strange again. And he's still not good. So they nerfed him so bad that he's now a champion that's not really that desired. And what are they going to do? Buff him later? They could have left him alone and they would have still had to buff him. But again, I'm not in the back with them talking about this thing. Don't know, you know, but man, I think that was a very bad move personally, just with my limited knowledge. I don't know what they were doing, what they were thinking, but yeah. <laughs> Gabriel, 1978. <laughs> All right. Uh, so anyway, uh, everyone that you've seen on these leaderboards get the six star champion plus 200 that we don't see because it's top 400 now. Um, we won't get to see any more five star champions or anybody that missed. So congratulations to everyone here that got these uh, six stars. Another thing that people were kind of going, Ooh. I had a Nexus that I opened up and Doctor Strange and Venom were in it. Now think about that. A six star Venom, six star Doctor Strange. I didn't have either of those champions. I picked Doctor Strange. Why? I had a five star Venom and I did not have a five star Doctor Strange. So getting the six star Doctor Strange was the only time I was going to get him above a four star. But of course, eventually I got the five and the six star and Venom was mad at me and didn't show up for a while. But I've got him now um, and he worked magic in the side quest. Love it. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Chime in. Talk to me. Tell me what you think about the video. What do you think about the scores? What scores? Put your rank up. Put your score up. People come back and look, especially for round one. We don't have any information right now. So give us that information and it'll help people who are going for these champions later. All right, so take care, and you all have a blessed day.